So you have hundreds of users on your marketing LAN or any other LAN, and you want to create an internal DNS server that will serve internal assets on your local area network. So let's configure a local DNS server on the marketing interface. All right, so there we have it. We have our marketing interface. We have three DHCP clients that are connected to that interface, but let's imagine that we have hundreds of users and you want to create an internal DNS server that will serve those uh, users. So the very first thing to do is to head up to system, feature visibility, and let's enable DNS uh, database that would allow us to create the DNS server and the associated records. All right, so let's move to network DNS server that is uh, that was enabled on our system feature visibility. Let's create our DNS server and let's enable it on marketing interface port two. Now. It will be a recursive uh, DNS server, and in case that it doesn't, it doesn't resolve uh, um, an IP address, then it will forward it to another DNS server. Okay, and now let's create our zone. Uh, the type is master, the view is shadow, it is not publicly uh, available to anyone. The DNS zone, let's just name it for a tip. The domain is 40tip.com. You can add up an email address. You can play around with the time to leave setting, but let's leave that uh, this way. Now, disable the authoritative. Our DNS server is not an authoritative DNS server. All right, now let's create the record. Now, we will use the A record, which actually resolves uh, IP addresses to URLs or to domains. Uh, so let's just use the host name router that will be our ISP router and the uh, fully qualified domain name is router.fortytip.com and the IP address is uh, 192.168.1.1 okay so we have our first a record let's just enable it and we can move back to our interface, marketing interface, and set the DHCP server to allocate uh, the um, DNS server, which is actually our interface IP, which is the marketing uh, LAN gateway IP. All right, and let's just ping um, router.fortytip.com and there we have it and we got it resolved into 192.168.1.1 1 